It's week 54 is there, so we're going to show you guys his location, what he has, and give you guys my recommendations for this week, and we're going to start right now. What's up guys, Reckless here and welcome to Guardian Watcher. So, it is week 54 of Zer. however, before we get into the video, if you guys would like a chance to win a Destiny 2 Forsaken Annual Pass, then I will put a Gleam link in the description, that way you guys can enter the contest. So, Zer is located on Nessus, and he actually is by the Watcher's Grave in this area right here. And let's go find out what he has this week. Zer, what's up dude? So, we're going to start with the left-hand side. We have the Crimson, which is a weapon of the week. Then we have the Stompies for the Hunter, Capri's Horn for the Titan, as well as the Verity's Brow for the Warlock. We're going to start with the Stompies. The tragic perk on this is Hydraulic Boosters, which buffs Sprint, Slide, and Jumping. This week, we have uh, Fusion Rifle Dexterity, Hand Cannon Dexterity, Bomber, as well as Scout Rifle Scavenger and special ammo finder now if you guys do not have the stompies go ahead and grab them this is definitely a tier 1.5 in pvp and definitely probably a tier 1.5 in pve as well so definitely go ahead and grab those next let's go over to capri's horn and try perk on this is solar rampart which solar kills recharge a solar blast barricade then we have bow targeting hand cannon targeting hands-on Shotgun Reserves, as well as Heavy Ammo Finder. Now, the perks on this is pretty good. However, this actual exotic really isn't that good. So, I'm going to give it more so a Tier 3 to 3.5 in PvP. And probably just a 3 in PvE. Last but not least, for the armor, we have the Verity's Brow. Treasure perk on this is the 4th Magic, which energy weapons kill... Energy weapon kills. Recharge grenades faster. Then we have bow targeting, hand cannon targeting, hands-on, shotgun reserves, as well as heavy ammo finder. Now, this is an okay exotic. Probably more so better in PvE than it is PvP. So I'm probably going to rate this a 2.5 in PvP, but definitely probably a 2 in PvE. Weapon of the week is the Crimson. It's an exotic hand cannon. Uh, Trenton perk on this is a banned weapon, which this weapon fires a three round burst. Then we have small bore, accurized rounds, cruel remedy, which kills with this weapon, heal the wielder. Precision kills also refill the magazine. And then we have hit, uh, heavy uh, grip, sorry. Uh, this does not come with ornaments, but in ornament for it is silver bullets. And this is what it actually looks like. Looks pretty damn freaking cool to me. So, it's definitely good in PvE and PvP. If you guys don't have it, go ahead and grab it. It's definitely tier 2 in PvE as well as PvP. Then we have your wonderful consumables, which is the Five of Swords. And last but not least, we have your Faded Engram. Uh, if you do not have one of these exotics, go ahead and buy these exotics first before you pop your Faded Engram because you have a chance to get one of these inside your Faded Engram. However, just so you know, Still, even to this day, September 21st, 2018, the Faded Angram will not give you Forsaken um, exotics just yet. Bungie plans on allowing the Faded Engram to do so, as well as their self uh, Forsaken Engrams, uh, Forsaken exotics, but it's not happening yet. It's probably going to happen sometime in the future. And that, my friends, brings us to the end of the video. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to watch these videos as well. You never know. You just might like them. And if you do, leave a like, share them, and then come back for more. Because you know you want to. Thank you guys for watching. And remember, less guns doesn't mean less crime. And I will see you guys next time.